In this video, I'm gonna be reviewing Musicbed. Musicbed is a very popular stock music website, and in this video, I'm gonna be going over the pricing, the key features, and whether it's worth to buy it or not. Let's dive in. Three, two, one. Before we dive in, I just want to point out that Musicbed did reach out to me and provided me a free individual plan to review their product. Now, with that being said, everything in this video is 100% my honest opinion, but let's dive into Musicbed. Let's first talk about the pricing because this is really the differentiator between this website and a lot of the other websites. You'll notice that Musicbed is a lot more expensive than a lot of their competitors. So if you go to the Musicbed website, you'll notice that there's a pricing tab. If we go there, you can see the different plans that they have. For the individual plan, if we click view pricing, it asks you what kind of content that you're creating, whether you're a wedding filmmaker, YouTuber, freelance filmmaker. So in this case, I'm a YouTube creator. And you'll see two different plans here. The first one's the unlimited songs. So this is an annual plan that's billed monthly. So just keep that in mind that you pay $29 a month for 12 months and you get unlimited songs on the website. Or if you like a song individually, you can use one song starting at $59. Now, if you wanna add coverage for client work, keep in mind this is the individual plan. So this right here is just if you're a YouTuber, if you have one single social media channel, and you're a solo content creator, say if you need coverage for client work, that's this tab over here, that would be $99 a month. Once again, it's an annual subscription, billed monthly. So you'd pay $99 a month and 12 installments of $99 a month over you know, a year. And then a single song for commercial use would be $349. Now Musicbed does have a free 14-day trial, so if you want, you can sign up for a free 14-day trial, see if you like it or not, and you get up to three songs that you can license that you can keep even after the cancellation. If you're interested, there is a link down in the video description if you do want to try out Musicbed. Okay, so next, let's go over the user interface. So this is how it looks when you log into Musicbed. As you can see on the left side, these are your main filters. So you can filter by genre, mood, artist, there's attributes. So kind of like adjectives essentially, like adventurous, beautiful, and then instrument. So you can search by instrument. And then under the advanced setting, this is where you can dial in BPM, a certain key, if it has a build or not. So this is helpful if you want a song that has a build, song length and vocals. Now you can search for instrumentals by just clicking the instrumental section down in the bottom left. Let's add some filters here. I'm going to search for some electronic music and the mood I want to be uplifting. You can also not include a filter by clicking the exclude button next to one. So if I want filter settings not to include sad, you can just click on that. That'll remove sad songs from the list. And once you dial in your filter settings, you'll notice that the songs will populate to the right side. And you can just click the play button to start previewing the different songs. Now this is, in my own opinion, one of the downsides of Musicbed. I don't think their filters are as strong as I think they should be. For example, when we played that song, it sounded sad, even though we excluded sad. So I think their filters need some work. Let's go back into the song section. One other cool thing that they have that's unique to Musicbed is the quick preview section. So if you click this on, you'll notice that when you click play, it jumps to the most relevant point of the song using AI. So for this song here, if we click play, good, yeah, yeah. it'll go right into the meat of the song. That way you can determine faster if you like it or not. All right, so next let's go over how to license actually use this song. So how do you use this song, say if you wanna download it and use it in your project? So say if we wanted to use this, what you can do next is add it to a project. So you click the save to project button, and then you can create a new project here. And I would name it the project that you're working on. For this example, maybe music bed review video. And then the client, if you're an individual creator would be yourself. So I would just type in my name and then the description if you want to add one. Then you'll click create project. And then once it's added to the project, what you can do is go up to my projects you can see it right here. So now you can click on the song and then you can click download. And then next to use it, you can click license. 
and then just click on the drop down under project name and select the project that you just created and then click next. Once you're on this screen, you just click confirm details and then submit and download. And then you can select one of the options here. I'm gonna download the WAV file. You download the WAV. One last detail I wanted to go into in regarding licensing and the user interface is the social media accounts that are linked or cleared for your videos. So how do you add your YouTube channel, your Instagram, or your different social media profiles? To do that, once you make a Musicbed account, you can go to your account settings up here, just click on account, and then to the left side, you can click on subscriptions, and then you can click manage, and then you can click edit social profiles, and this is where you can copy and paste your YouTube channel, now for the individual plan, you can only copy and paste in one link. So that's what I have for this is just my YouTube channel. That way, if I upload YouTube videos to my YouTube channel, they automatically get cleared. They have a technology that automatically clears YouTube videos, which is really cool. All right, so now that we went over some of the user interface, how to license and download a song, let's talk about some of the key features in Musicbed. Musicbed is probably one of the largest stock music libraries out there, having over 50,000 songs in their catalog. And another thing that separates Musicbed from a lot of the other stock websites is that every single artist is vetted. They only select the best of the best artists. Another thing that's unique is that they work directly with music labels. Two cool collections that they have on here is the vintage and the classical collection. So for example, if we go into the Musicbed homepage and next to attributes, we can go down to vintage collection. And in here, you can find a lot of vintage sounding songs because they are actually from that time period. So if we click and listen to one, you can see how it sounds. So right there, you can see it, it just sounds really authentic, very much like it came from a vintage time period there. One of the other really standout features that's actually really new to Musicbed and probably my personal favorite on the website is the AI powered search by song. So if we go back out to Musicbed's homepage, you can search by song at the top right. If we click on this, you can click and search based on an artist or song name. So a good example is I create a lot of event recap videos, sometimes from music festivals, and maybe I want something that sounds like Martin Garrix. I can type in the artist's name and it will populate songs that sound like that artist. So for example, if we type in Martin Garrix, maybe High on Life, you'll notice that songs will populate that sound very similar to that. So if we click play, So this is a really cool feature. You know, this limits how long you have to spend trying to find a certain song. If you know a mainstream artist and you want to find songs that are very similar, you can use this tool to find songs really quickly. So those are the key features. What are my honest thoughts on Musicbed? To be honest, I think Musicbed is a little pricey when it comes in at $29 a month for an individual plan, and obviously it gets really expensive for being a business. I think Musicbed is great maybe on a per song level in my personal opinion. So if I needed something very specific for a project, I'd probably go on here and download the individual license or try to find something for an individual project. I think their standout feature by far is the AI powered search by song. That's really groundbreaking. I mean, that saves so much time in trying to find a song that sounds very similar to something. And you can use any mainstream artist to find songs on Musicbed that sound similar to that. But those are my honest thoughts. If you wanna see other options out there, I did make a video going over a few different other stock music options. I will link one right up there if you do wanna see other options out there. But let me know what you guys think of Musicbed down in the comments section below. But until next time, take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.